Wicky Wicky where's my eggs and Vicky boy? <laughs> good morning, little weed. And uh, good morning, Mama Bear. You're looking pretty fit. Mm. And you're looking like you're up to no good. What are you doing? Where are you going? Not a clue, but it's time to start anew. Because the sky's looking kind of blue. Saying cock a doodle doo to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Oh, where today is officially. <laughs> my 13 years on YouTube. And we're starting off with a great success, jam on toast and homemade porridge. Thank you. Porridge. Is it porridge made at home? It is. It's homemade porridge. Now, with Lydia out the house, I am doing the same because I have got a lot of stuff to take care of today. And it all begins with me hopping in the beast. And getting down to the land because I've got a meeting with Neil Smart, who have installed some new and improved security. Thank you very much, sir. Oh. You've been busy. And I was not expecting you. Hello. You okay? How are you feeling? You've not been well, have you? I'm still a bit down, but oh, I'm great. Some fresh air. Hey, and what a way to do it. I'm here relaxing on the land, enjoying my view and doing a bit more admin work. You just couldn't resist coming and say hello again, could you? Just gonna bring him a check up top. Oh, yeah? Everything's okay. Hey, oh, we've just got Andy arriving on site as well. What's he up to, the chap? If it wasn't for your TikTok spoiling it for me, I've seen how clean it is down there. You've smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Get out of here, Neo Smart, trying to steal credit. Well, I tried to leave Neo Smart and Andy and got confronted with Thomas Upton in front of me. So we're going to stick it in reverse and back it up. Back it up. Back it up. All the way home, where I'm reunited with this little guy. And all of these boxes. Now, the reason I'm actually home now is these boxes are going to be coming with me. But they can't fit in the back of my Defender. But luckily, we ran into Tom Upton there. He's going to come up, pick him up, take him down to the land. And we're getting what's inside it installed. Who was that Andy on my drive? Andy! Andy? I swear I saw him on my cameras. I hope it's him because I've got him a present. I dropped it. Oh! And Upton's arrived in a different vehicle. And wouldn't you know it, I've actually got one for him as well. <laughs> it's almost like you totally don't know what this present is I'm about to give you. Da -da 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 -da! Your very own tripod. Listen, I know you've been borrowing mine, but I kind of need mine back at times. Yes, yes. And I think I know you've got your own, but whilst you're down on the land, get making that content. Got it. Thanks Smash it, bro. Uh, let's load her up. He's bloody there, the chap. Now, spoiler alert. And he knows exactly what I've got him. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I mentioned it in the vlog the other day. Oh, what a surprise! Oh, wow, the shock! I didn't think to think that you watch the vlogs. I do. So I'm sorry. Right. I appreciate you, you watching, but it backfired because you knew what your surprise was. Well, it's still a surprise. There you go. Now you can do your time lapses when you're here and stuff like that. Don't, don't usually balance it on like. A log or a rock or something. Or on the top of the wheelie bin, yeah. On the top of the wheelie bin. Now, you can use that and you can get the shot. Right, I might try it out this afternoon on something I'm going to do. Perfect. If you need any help setting it up, I'm your guy, all right? Yeah. Legend. Bloody yeah. really non-stop today. Hey, would you look at that? I'm down at Bloody Syndicate Original where they've had a massive restock. Because, spoiler alert, this is indeed now the next day. Now, I'm not jumping crazily in time for any reason other than the fact that my sister was like, if you don't tell everyone we've had a massive restock, I'm going to kill you. So, mm -hmm. hi, it's me, Tom. Um, as you guys know, I own a clothing line, syndicate.com. Look at that. That's the website on screen right now. Wow, you can go there and pick yourself up loads of these images that you can see on screen of the restock designs that we've got because we had a load of sea green stuff in, some sand, black and white LTS designs restocked, and everything sold out you guys went absolutely crazy so we had to put in an immediate restock for people who were like why couldn't we get any so i'm here to tell you this restock is complete you can go to syndicateoriginal.com you can get yourself what is this uh, sand and black hoodie you can get yourself um sand and black lts hoodie you can get yourself um black and white signature collection wow all the things you could possibly want are back in stock so go to syndicateoriginal.com links down in the description get yourself some swagger look good feel good and i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog and the microwave just stopped beeping because lydia's cooked me up some also we're not having maritas rain today instead this is um something lydia cooked up two nights ago and we're having it reheated and oh it is just as good <laughs> i can gobble that down like a single um it's when she first cooked it absolutely deliciousness and for dessert we're having a slice of my 13 year celebration birthday cake for my youtube channel come on i got this i can do this i can do this Boom. And the reason it's going on a napkin is because this one is for Upton and that one's for Andy. It's beautiful. 
she, she, made she, it. she decided just to home make it yesterday. Why did she actually yeah. make it? Homemade marble yeah. cake because officially today is the 13th year birthday of my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, the vlogging one. 13 years of pure life of Tom shenanigans. And here we go, let's see if he knows. What did my YouTube channel used to be called before it was Life of Tom? You know what, I actually don't know. Do you know? No. I didn't think you guys would. Syndicate Central. Is it? Yeah, well, didn't life, quite... Life of Tom's better. Yeah, didn't quite roll off the tongue as good. The, the whole reason we switched to Life of Tom is due to this picture on screen that my friend Jeff took when I was in Canada. Thought it was an amazing picture. One of you guys took it, wrote Life of Tom on it, and I was like, wow, that is such a good, be like, better name for the channel, or, like, sharing my life, my ins and outs and everything. And then um, it just stuck. Now, I know I'm on a diet, so I'm only going to have a little tiny slither piece. But it's my birthday. So I get to enjoy the cake. And it's very nice. Thank you. It's still nice. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, and she's all loaded up. I will see you down on the land. How annoying is this about to be? Because you've been like, get the, get the roof cut, get, get the roof rack. Should be straightforward. I've got the roof rack, but I think this is going to be worse than a Lego set. Well, I asked you last night how big the box. I said big. I was expecting them. I was it's hoping for a roof rack in a box with just the clips. Like the tent. Like the tent. Yeah. But instead it's coming pieces. Yeah. Let's hope yeah, it's straightforward. The straightforward. power of the time lapse. Your new tripod, stick it down, time lapse, I'll smash it out there. Right, see you in T minus two minutes. More like five. See you in a minute. Oh, and of course, it started to rain. We do not have time for this, especially what we've got going on down on the land, but I just popped in to get, um, well, a hoodie on because it's starting to get really cold. And I got the cake for the rest of the lads. As I don't think Neo Smart would appreciate not having any cake. Am I right in saying the gang's all here? We've got Upton, we've got Neo Smart, and we've got jbw the absolute legends behind lending us the digger can you believe how much work he's got done with that thing mate and look at the new van holy shit mate you're putting me in youtube promotion to shame this channel search for it you're about to hit a thousand subscribers i want to smash it out of the park because if it weren't for you and you with that machine we would not have got any of this done so go to his YouTube channel, click subscribe. I usually want to see him past the thousand, if not two thousand, if not three thousand. How about that? Oh, hey, if you love all building stuff, he's in our area doing loads of stuff, and I can't spoil anything. But there might be a certain house that he ends up working on very soon. So make sure you subscribe to his channel with notifications turned on. Uh oh, Lee's found himself with a bit of an issue on site. But do you know what makes everything better? Cake. Gosh. <laughs> It does, yeah. It does, mate. Sure hey, and you can have a slice of this cake. You've already had yours. Um, this is the cake Lydia cooked, baked me for it being my 13th year on YouTube today. You're all in it. How long have you been on it? Oh, no, yeah. Mate, <laughs> still, still fresh. 13 freaking years. All right, that was our taxi. Off you hop. What you? I didn't even know you were on site. What have you been doing? Oh, whoa! Andy! Just trying to find it. What? What on earth? Oh, what have you been doing caught? Oh, what? I can't believe that. Wow! <laughs> I've never seen it so clean. No way. Andy, you've... you've smash this it's that is stunning so is that going to be all under this as well yeah are you doing it all not today <laughs> I mate i don't blame you freaking heavens have opened yeah. not only has andy been clearing all this out which i cannot get over mate that is looks like mr bean's about to appear with a spotlight above him but he's also been clearing out inside the stables wow oh there's a door there's a what yeah when was that there <laughs> what wow I'm going to need a torch. Oh, yeah, you got. I've got to come sifting through this. Do we know what this is yet? No. On the floor? No, no. Not it's a like, generator. I'm going to get it all out into the yard. I really don't have a clue what this is. Probably shouldn't be flicking around with uh, electricity of any sorts, but if anyone in the comments down below, a something motor. Hmm. Wait, what? This is a native. Wait. Is that something to do with a toilet or something? No, it's like a ball cock. Yeah. 
What on earth is that? What kind of TV is now? Do you know what? This would be ri Oh! Is it. I said, is this where they wash the horses off or something? Do you know what it is? And that's a motor for like a pump of the water for a barrel outside or something. Rainwater. Someone's gonna let me know in the comments below. We could move into this. So we'll get this shine torch in there and which camera yeah. which is in there and have a look. Ooh. Not too much. Is it just or, Yeah. I just saying to Andy and Tom outside, like, don't be wrong, all this in here is absolutely just not the one and well the roof in it doesn't look too bad to be fair in comparison. But if we could actually just for time being of uh, the next few years, because we're gonna be doing nothing with this for ages, if we could take this all off, just nicen it up a bit. And for the meantime, turn it into a nice playhouse for the kids. How nice would that be? Like, proper board, board that side off, have that door open, just some windows, let some light in, and a place for the kids to play. Great, like an actual fun idea. house for them. Matt, might as well do something with it, seeing as though it's a proper structurally sound building. And Lydia can just do that up as a nice play for the, place for the kids to, to have fun. That's a good idea. Take the front out of this. Oh, yeah. Parking spot, Parking box. Yeah. Good shout. All right, Andy, catch you in a bit. Oh, he's following me. I'm hoping this is where I don't lose my shins. Uh... At every given moment, there is about a thousand things running through my head. What I need to do, what I've got to do, and what I still haven't done. Like it looks, on days like today, where I'm just like going here, there, everywhere, handing out cake or whatever, it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm juggling so many logistics all at once. Cause there's just so much to, to handle. That's why I'm trying to like just stay focused on one thing being the stone house building get that going which i am doing with brad and then hopefully like once we get that going then we can start to spread onto other things and go on the boys really appreciate neo smart because these guys are coming absolutely clutch today harrison really appreciate you like thank you pete thank you very much for keeping my son inside <laughs> inside the lounge at all points and you look at that look at that nerdy smile on his face Honestly, another day of just like the community people coming together because like no. everyone here knows like it's not just me, it's Joe as well. I'm not just doing this thing. This is the, the, the thing that I'm trying to make just for myself and it's for me, 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 me. I'm trying to do this for like all my friends, all my family and everyone. And I, and I just didn't think coming from that, like the community support of people helping out would be to the scale it has like when people heard about like the breaking and stuff like that so many people reached out like neil smart and, and joe were just like right let us come in and let, and let us help and i was like lads i really appreciate that and that's exactly what they've done so just honestly massively grateful the peace of mind and security now is thousand times more than what it was previously so just happy days and great success yeah. we were supposed to be putting the roof rack on this thing right now because tom upton's got it here in the back and oh dear He's left his windows open. Oops. But I just got a notification on my phone saying, go and get Kevin food. And he really, really needs some. So I'm gonna quickly fly down to Swell, pick up some food if we got some in stock and then fly on back. And then hopefully if we've got enough daylight, um, get the roof rack installed. Cause I'm gonna need that roof rack on because at the start of October, there's a guest coming up, staying with us and we're gonna do ourselves a bit of camping. I wonder who it could be. Oh dear. I forgot these guys were working up here. Legends. I really did not want to have to move them, but I need to get to Swell before it shorts. And we did just that. Ugh, this weather is awful. Are you just restocking? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I finally came on a restock day. <laughs> Can I have your best stock then? No dead ones, only the best for Kevin. I was gonna say, if I would've got here and you would've had no stock in, I'd've been, I'd have been in a predicament, that's all I'm gonna say. Yes. In and out in no time. Roof rack time. Well, so I hope. There's even more flies on my wall. What is going on? I shouldn't even be buying Kevin bloody food. I'll just stick him on the front of the house. You have got to be having a giraffe. Where is the brush and caddy? Where's the brush and caddy? It... Oh, so because you haven't got, give me that. Because you haven't got access to the br brush and caddy, you took the thing that it belongs on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What a naughty little boy. Monkey! You, you can't keep keeping me distracted. I need to feed Kevin. Bye-bye now. Alas, my other son. Hunt, my pretty. Hunt. Okay, with him taken care of, finally time to complete the task at hand. Why did you keep? Where did you get that spoon from? <laughs> no, don't giggle me face. Where did you keep getting these spoons from? Who's your spoon dealer? Who's your spoon dealer? 
Tell me who your spoon dealer is. I did. It's you. Go go now. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye now. What are you doing? He literally climbed it. We're gonna need like, we're gonna put like butter on it so he can't get out. <laughs> what a bloke. Bloody love my boy. And speaking of blokes, I look. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, first project in the HQ. Yes! Oh, go on, look at that. Upton's got the roof rack out. Mate, got to give him props in what him the lads have done. Yeah, cracking. Seriously, yeah, yeah. again. The reason why I'm giving these guys a shout out, six months ago, Joe's been starting a YouTube channel. I didn't even know until like he was on site helping us out and he just popped up recommended in the comments. He literally does all like, you know, put the projects of the builds and the property developments that he's doing and stuff like that. And you can follow along with it on YouTube. Like if it, if it weren't for this digger, mate, if it weren't for that digger, how far behind would we be from a... If we do it by hand, we'd be like, it'd be taking us four, six months it's from a... Impossible. It's just not, not Seriously, go and tell him I said thank you. Like truly thank you. And especially for what he's done today. Like we've not been able to show it all on camera, obviously. But for what he's done today, he's... He's next level, like, blessed. And from saying I'm blessed with that to this bloke, mate, what are we thinking? I like the picture because it's got no plans, so I think. Oh, I really? What I'm doing, but yeah, that looks about right. That one at the front. Yeah. And then. Um, obviously, they must go underneath. Yeah. I don't know where they attach on. To <laughs> we'll find out. Come on, the boy. After everything I've just said, he's filming it as a time lapse, putting it together. Never, never miss the content. What a blow. He, he was, I'm learning. He said, I'm learning. <laughs> My boy. I finally actually feel like I'm doing something, putting all these into place. Securing them. And before you know it, um, our first project in the HQ will be complete. Don't get me wrong though. This is just step one. Cause we need to get that built. Then we need to get it onto there, which is step two. And then we need to get that onto that, which is step three. So let's back it up and get ready to see what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, how confident are you? It's me. 9.9%. Uh, we've done this with no instructions. Bang on, mate. Absolutely bang on. We've left these loose, so when we get it up there, we can just alter them. And yep. then tighten them all up. I love it. Go. Did you pull a funny face when I looked away there? No. Right. What? Flip it to the right. Yeah, to the right. This is where you and Rebecca, the only issue is my, my height. I'm not worried about scratching it, so don't be cautious. Did you just like that? Yeah, then you've got it. Bro, this looks sick already. This looks sick. What, bro? It looks so good already. Guess what, guess what, Tom? Oh! <laughs> now I want a light bar, now I want a light bar. Oh! oh! <laughs> Mate, and that's the perfect place to get a light bar hung underneath that gap. Because I want it like low profile. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Even as I step back here. You need light bars at the back as well. I will like a 360 degree light. Turn up, boom, battery goes flat. Then I ask an Alto 200 to come and tow me out. They get stuck because their battery's flat. No, you need nail smarts that you two, uh, a split charge relay up and a 12 volt battery in the back that runs everything else other than the vehicle. I have no idea what you said, but Neosmart, smart, if you can install those things if I need them, that'd be great. Now, as much as Tom wants to put the roof tent on tonight, it's nearly half past seven, which is home time. So I'm going to reverse this in, make sure it's secure, yeah. and then tent tomorrow, yeah? to see what this looks like. The Defender for the first time peeking out of the HQ. Kabam! <laughs> yes, that looks sick. I'm like a popper giddy kipper. Dude, that is seriously sick. Bro, yeah. Hey, yeah. We like it. Oh, do you know what I want to do? Wait, can I give you this? Oh, 
Child. Actually sick. Is this not the way? It's perfect, mate. Really nice job. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you didn't get the one that we were trying to rush and get the other day. And, it, it's um, worth doing it properly, yeah, like yeah. you said. And then, Definitely. if you actually, my filming skills have been terrible here because we had time lapses and cameras and this and everything. You can go to Tom's TikTok and see all the actual behind the scenes because you've seen how, how busy I'm on a regular day. I'm on my phone, 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 on my phone. Yeah, constantly. I'm juggling all the 110 acres in my head of what to do. Even though I want to focus on a project, I'm juggling everything. So, if you do want to see behind the scenes, you know where to find it. On the Dicky Ducks! What did he search? Oh, uh, the landscaping Viking. <laughs> Quite Viking long. Tom. Viking I, Tom. I think I searched Viking Tom, even though it's not your name. Nice one, brother. Sick. I have a roof rack. Are you ever tried one? I've wanted a roof rack on this since the day I bought it. And I emailed or was contacting Urban Automotive about doing it. And the prices were just ridiculous. But then we went into lockdown and stuff and it just never ended up happening. Whereas now, here we are. Can't wait. You feeling confident with it? Of course, mate. You've just been stuck on it. Yeah, that's true. Come on, please start. Oh dear. Might be taking back everything I said. Psych! She's a beauty! Away she goes! He's out! And so is Mr. Upton! Get out! Wow. What a day. It is late now, like nearly eight o'clock. This is me getting back very, very late. Lydia's like, where are you? Dinner's on the table. <laughs> I don't know why she sounds like a 40-year-old woman, but uh, alas, here we are in eight up. That's interesting. The police have just pulled someone someone up behind me. I just noticed the blue lights there of them, um, them pulling someone over. Oh, this is just great not focusing right now. But that was actually the Rosers pulling someone to the side. Ooh. Spooky. I can smell food. And I can hear guests. Hello there. Why the sad face, minstrel. Sorry to keep you waiting. Lydia can make some really extravagant, fancy dishes, and they're 10 out of 10, but by far- And I said I... to everyone that I was gonna film this one, but Tom can take full blame, because he's meant to be back for when I cook, and he wasn't. So I was doing it with Alfie hanging around. And, and I'm gonna, and, and by Tom is to full blame, she means Tom Upton, not me. So Tom Upton, it's all your fault. You are a, a ridiculous man. How could you do such a thing? But like, uh, all the complicated dishes to a side, like no big Sunday roast. This, not to downplay it at all, is chicken and broccoli. But how good is it? Oh, it's so good. Is it oyster sauce you put in it? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I invited him over for dinner as well again. And he just went, he was like, no, nah, I'm all right. I've only just got out of bed because his sleep, sleep patterns all over the all over the place. And when I said, oh, we're having chicken and broccoli, he's like, oh, sounds good. But then I went, yeah, with oyster sauce. He literally went, oh. And when I say it's 10 out of 10, it's so simple, but it's so good. Look, look, the boy wants more. The boy wants more. Dinner was devoured, Lydia. Thank you very much. And Vic, once again, thanks for giving birth to that beautiful woman. And then passing on, and passing on the cooking skills of a generation. But it's time for you to have a bath. A bath. A bath. Yes? Come, come. Half time. We are going up, up, up. Look at this, I'm gonna blow his mind. I can climb over it, but you can't. Mmm, <laughs> and with bath time complete, Alfie is down for the count. And it is just me and the cake eater. Shh. He's still asleep. Awake at 25 to 12. And how come you've just walked in with donuts? And three cards. What's this? What's this? It's your birthday. I should put a top on again. Oh, he's naked. I'll tell you what, I've actually got a top I actually really want to wear for some reason. Where is it? It's cosy. Yes, I know this pile is ridiculous, but don't. Yeah, there it is. Oh, 10 year anniversary hoodie. When is it coming out? Ask Lydia. I don't know. Says the owner. But I am very excited to open these. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna open the one from Alfie. Here's one sec. With us in spirit. Congratulations, hooray, brilliant. Well done, you. Aw, congrats, Daddy. I love you. 
age outfit, 10 months. I've got like, I swear I've got something from every month of him signing the card. You can't see it. Uh, lots of love and snotty snuggles. Alfie, Alfredo, Alfie Boo, Booski. <laughs> I love how it went from Jelly Man to now, like, all these variations. Of he fully wrote that himself, by the way. Say again? He fully wrote that himself. You can yeah, tell him, you? Like, he's so talented at age 10 months. That's just, <laughs> it's just next level. No, I just translated it for you. I'm going to put that one there. Oh, thank you. Then I've got one that says Tom. And this one says, big round of applause. Congratulations, Tom. I'm so proud of you and your channel. 30 years of going strong. Thank you for creating this life for us. Baby, that's very kind of you. Oh, my lovely dear. Oh, thank you. That's so calm. That's such a lovely words. Oh, thank you. And then I've got one more. But this one says, Life of Tom. Whoa, 13. <laughs> to Life of Tom. Happy YouTube birthday. 13 years. Wow, congratulations. Here's to many more years to come. All I love. From Mummy and Alfie. <laughs> I love it. These are all going in my office and staying there for about an entire year. And then we'll update it when it says 14. <laughs> Do you reckon I'll be walking for another year? Yes. You reckon? Oh, I've just bought the secret project. It's like non-stop work to do for the next 65 years. I think... Do you know what? Because I've been with you when you vlogged every single day, not mm. every weekday. Then you I still do now though. Then you stopped vlogging. Yeah. Full stop. Like you did you stopped vlogging. Yeah. Yep. Oh COVID up. Mm-hmm. And then you've started again and now I think you struggle to stop again. Cause it's become like habit for you to film. Like even when you're meant to be off at the weekend, yeah. you're still filming. I'm not supposed to film the weekends. No, but I think I don't think it's a bad thing, but I just think there's two modes of Tom. Like you don't film anything mm -hmm. or you film everything. Yeah. I don't think there's like a, you know, like some, I think be like some vloggers are like, I'm going to make content today. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time they don't do anything. Yeah. You're, you are so real. I think that's why people resonate with you. It's just your real life. I know this is really random. I meant to, sh I meant to mention this. I woke up this morning to message from my, my friend Liam, who's basically like my manager, who texted me saying, dude, Cal Freezy made a blog like a post about you and i was like B -b -b uh, what i didn't understand it at first and he posted is that the guy who sent you trainers no calux oh very they sound so similar yeah they're really good friends them too as well but cal Freezy made this post now you can pause it and read it now it's gone um but he put on this really beautiful post about like how it's like people on youtube you know are, are sick of the mr beast like I don't get me wrong, I know I'm pretty but I'm like, I just feel my life and try and keep it as natural as possible. I'm not chasing the, the hype. The other thing cool is though thing. is like having met a lot of people that you kind of are in the industry with, like I know people portray themselves slightly differently online sometimes. Mm -hmm. You might come across like duh, 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 duh. when people are like how do you live with him he is really like that in real life like there's no like putting it on for the camera <laughs> and if you've met him in real life you'll know like that is tom pretty much well he sees what you get absolutely i don't i like i don't i don't like to put out days where i'm like Bleh. or whatever not for 100 percent, but it's just how it is absolutely if i bounce off the walls it's just how it is. 90% of the time. 90% of the time. It takes a lot for me to not be myself, and that's usually, like, if I'm really tired... Or something really sad happened. Really hungover. Yeah. Or really sad. They're, like, my three things. All Lydia's really cross with you. All Lydia's really cross with me. All plans fell through. There are things that can, like, get me down. But, yeah, it's just, it's just mad that I've been doing this for... Well, I've actually been doing YouTube longer. My other channel's, like, what, 40... It's all 15 years. Like, I had channels before it, but it was always just, like... I used to re-upload, like, I don't know, game trailers or something like that, thinking I was going to be the next big YouTuber by re-uploading a video games trailer. And it, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> it did work out for you in a way. Yeah. No, that taught me that I loved it. But the whole vlogging route of going down that, and I know I said this to you guys, but my first ever video was a vlog. I wanted to be a vlogger. Didn't want to be a gaming content creator. I just turned out I love video games and there was an audience for it. You've always, speaking from someone who's known him since he was 11, you have always loved video games. Yeah. But I didn't know I wanted to make videos on video games. Yeah. Like, if, if someone could tell me now, right, like, what would, could you do for the rest of your life? You literally could never do one or the other again. Like, vlog. It'd be vlogging. 
vlog or do video game content and don't get me wrong, I got to 10 million subscribers on one channel, two point summit billion, billion views, that's crazy, mm -hmm. or vlog and share my life to a much smaller audience, like, I'm, like 10 million versus 2 million, 700 million versus 2 billion views, which one are gaming or vlogging? Vlogging. Vlogging, hands down. The thing but is, you, you just... wouldn't have your life without vlogging though. Oh no. Like gaming, me and you struggle when you're gaming, properly gaming. Oh yeah, because that just consumes my intent. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm gone down at the one now, like, all the time. But I'm working towards that being a future where our lives will, will be constant. I'm trying to make excuses for... Oh, yeah, our, land, what? Our, our lives... What did I yeah, tell you about yeah, it? Yeah, 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 no. Show me, show, show Liddy's reaction to that. What I'm, what I'm planning today. Right. I've got something really cool in the works to get Lydia, not just the static, but something really cool in the works. Even cooler than the static. For Lydia and our family, which I think just for the in-between of us. It's got me really excited. Living actually. here and living there, it's just such an awesome, cool opportunity. And I think it'd just be, I think it'd just be right for so many reasons. But the, 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 well, the land allows our lives to cross like this, which is just amazing. Whereas like the gaming, I'm isolated. It's, I start at a certain time. Like when I'm doing streaming, sorry, like I'm down there and it's just like, I've just got focused on like what I'm doing and it's just like, you're stuck in a box in four wheels. Like, I love it. I love the audience. But I feel like people have grown up. Do you know what? It'd be interesting to see how, this is just becoming a lot of conversation, sorry. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see now, like how it affected us because obviously I don't need to be up for school the same like I used to be, but I've, I do, I do like our little routine. Like we don't get up super early, but we're up and we start our day by mm -hmm. a reasonable hour. Yeah. Whereas when I say that we were on opposite schedules, I was getting up at like six in the morning to go to school. Uh, Tom was getting bed. up when I was coming home from school, yeah. so I was then like shattered. Tom was just starting his day. And he was, was then go. The he was then going to bed when I was getting up for school. It, it it so didn't, like we genuinely did not see each other but it's one of the biggest reasons we probably like we split up twice yeah, isn't absolutely. it absolutely just, like, two different totally different lives and not only life. that but like for the first part of our relationship and then in the middle part of our relationship i just wasn't in the videos for a lot of reasons like reasons on your part reasons on my part being at school and things so i couldn't even I couldn't even communicate with you. Mm -hmm. So if you were gaming, oh, yeah, that's why when Lydia would need my attention, she'd be like knocking on the door, but she couldn't, she couldn't, re she couldn't get hold of me because my phone would be like on do not disturb. Yeah, the and the camera was like pointing yeah. at the door, so I couldn't just walk in. And there was, it was very, there was stress for a lot oh, of reasons. I about that, that period. Like imagine not being me, me being able to communicate. not being able to communicate. Our relationship was so messy at the beginning. Yeah. Like, uh, but it was, it was just like two, so many different paths of like, like crossing it over, and it's like. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I, I'm, you know, what comes through my head now is, I'm, you know, we've put all this time, effort, energy and money into this new office to play video games again. Yeah. And I'm like super stoked to play these games and I'm looking forward but to... But that like, office though, play. which is so lovely, is not just a, a gaming office, no, it's, it's my, also an life. adult admin yeah. office. Even though I've been using the kitchen the last three days. <laughs> don't I know it? Yeah don't, yeah, don't you know it? But like, a part of me is like, you know... Am I, am I chasing like the glory days of like, oh, you want to gaming and stuff? I'm looking forward to making the content. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared because I know what it's like to lose four hours of my day just going, oh, I'm just going to play on RuneScape for an hour. Four hours later, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then the vlog ends up being a five minute video, not yeah. a day of like my life. And I Unlike this I feel like I prioritize, segment that's 10 minutes long so yeah, far. <laughs> sorry. I feel like I prior, prioritize this vlog. Like, I'm just sharing my life and actually getting shit done in life. I feel like I prioritise that more than enjoying playing a video game. Like, I'll probably have a two-week stint in this new COD where I just want to smash it, smash it, smash mm. it, and think if it's really going to get addicted to it. From All a personal... It, which I think is great, but... Like, yeah, personally, fairness. obviously, my life is much nicer when you vlog in rather than gaming, like, for us. But also, you seem so much healthier and happier when you vlog in versus gaming. Like, I, I, I know... Gaming, I don't know. It's, like it, it was the core. Like it was a job. Like it was very much I need to do this. But you ate a load of shit. You ate takeaways. You ate crap that you. That wasn't just, just the gaming. That's just my personal laziness habit because of the gaming. But you did. Yeah. You didn't see sunlight, so you were pale as a ghost. White. She's not wrong. <laughs> you weren't sleeping properly. Nope. Like weren't it's not dead healthy. Yeah. But it's no, not a healthy I, I, lifestyle. I, I've done that thing. No, you could do it in a healthy lifestyle. Well, you absolutely couldn't. You've just yeah. got to set up a structure. That's the thing, though. 
because of my sleep being out of sync and that sort of yeah. stuff, that's what made it that sort of unhealthier lifestyle. You could do it absolutely right. Imagine like if I had Rita's Rain back in the day getting delivered so I was having my lunches and always mm-hmm. making me dinners or you know, whatever it be, mm-hmm. like meal prep or whatever, and then I had it scheduled in to go to the gym. Yeah, but it, it was worked. it was ridiculous to the point, like, you wouldn't have come downstairs to yeah, but this, do you but this, even warm your food really? up. Like, I used to leave your packed lunch in your office, and if it wasn't in your office, you wouldn't eat. Yeah, because you're ready. This is, it's not the actual physical game, but it's the dedication to the game of, like, YouTube and content creation. Like, you just want to absolutely crush it. And it's like, you forget to eat, you forget to drink, cause you forget to sleep, because you're so focused on the, on what you're trying to achieve and what, you, what, you, what, you, what you're trying to get done. Yeah, no, like, honestly, I would the, never that's forget That's the to grind. Eat. Whereas, like, in a video game, it's so easy just to, like, blink and an hour's gone by. Whereas, like, on the land, you're doing all this physical activity and you're constantly coming and going and coming and going that, like, yeah, now I might go back, but then you're like shakingly hungry because you've burnt all Yeah, your but you also exactly. don't have a relationship with food like I do because even on the land, you'll be like, oh, I need to just get something done so you'll not eat. Yeah. Even if you're shaking hungry. Mm. But as I was saying, I'm excited for the gaming setup to be complete with all my stuff in there so I can stream, update, con from the Sidemen camera guys. Reached out, he's just got married. Congratulations, picture of him on screen. Guys, thanks for watching. You know what? It, it is nearly midnight. This was a pretty long uh, thing at the end of it. Give us that. How have we been trying for 20 minutes? That actually feels like three seconds, but from me, Alfredo fast asleep over here, and Lydia, thank you for joining us on this journey. It has been real. We appreciate you. We love you. And hey, here's to 13 more years. Well, the, the stuff I've got planned on the secret project is the rest of my life. Place your bets right now. 13 years time. And we moved in. To the land? Mm. I think so. I, in my head, I've got like 10 years. 10 years? I said in three to five years of what I'll have the plans done. And mm-hmm. then let's say three years of building... That's like ten years. That's like a. That's like a. Okay, that is actually given... close to the the time scale. Yeah, exactly. So it's like eight. Yeah, but ten years. That makes years, you feel like... like so far away. I know. We'll be forty. We'll be forty. Our son's nearly one. He'll be eleven. No. <laughs> oh, he'll be going to high school. Oh. <laughs> that's weird. <gasps> But yeah, like some people tune in and they'll they'll follow along for like all of that all of his life. They've been here before it. Yeah. I I've watched some people. I knew you before. Who, you were who've born. been on YouTube <laughs> like before, like a, as a couple, and then I saw them like to the kids who are now like eighteen year old kids sort of thing. Like I've been watching them that long, and they're you know, and it's crazy. You can look back over their entire life. How insane is that? My entire life. What's that from? It's that remix of. <laughs> When she's a, I've been waiting for this moment when I would interact with Sloth. <laughs> and that Lydia is that Lydia, <laughs> that ladies and gentlemen is Lydia. Listen, it is eleven fifty six now. This has been going on for to- too long. I've changed the the length of this rant in the title. Rant, <laughs> the, this conversation in the title. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more real talk from me and Lydia, let us know in the comments down below. If you did, if Maybe you did, not in a vlog. Yeah, if, if you, yeah, <laughs> in a separate, separate thing. Space. If you did a uh, stick around to enjoy this entire thing, hey, leave a like, great, and let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Uh, but we're hearing some noise from Alfredo, so we're gonna have to go. Much love to your faces. High five, Skio. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow at seven pm for the next weekday vlog. So until then, much love to your faces.